Hey guys, this is Casper with Tape, and today you join me for the Falcon 9 reusability demo. This is the Falcon 9 version 1.1, equipped with landing legs and the ability to use just one engine or three engines to land safely, either in water or on land. It's never landed on land in real life, but that's what I'm going for today. Um, not how it'll. I'll explain some things as I go along. It won't be exactly true to life because there are some. Um, well, it's uh, because it's a much smaller planet, so it's you have less room to maneuver, kind of um, aerodynamically moving your uh, first stage back uh, to, to like where you exactly want it. And um, there's no fair amount of space, so I can't fly anything that doesn't have wings. Anyway, so it's a fairly standard launch. Um, it's kind of what you'd expect. Um, I just I don't foot throttle up fully because uh, there's no point because you want to conserve as much. Um, fuel as possible because for landing I'm thinking I'm gonna need about 600 units um, to land because I need to do a slight redirect as well I'm tipping over early because I do that usually anyway but um I want to be going quite l quite fast laterally because to land this first stage I'm gonna do it on the continent across the ocean and for that I need to be going quite fast sideways so I'm just beginning my gravity turn fully now um, this does take seven Kerbals to orbit. Um, I did do a video just on the Dragon version 2, that's the payload today, and I'll also be demonstrating the reusability of that. I did do a video, so you can go and check that out. I might put the link at the end, or you can just find it on my channel, it's really not hard. Um, but yeah, we're getting up to the thinner parts of the atmosphere, and I'm trying to tip over as much as possible. Um, well, not as much as possible, as much as is necessary, because you don't want to be going too flat, because then you'll just slow down, hit the ocean. And I don't really want to hit the ocean, because that's not what you're aiming for. Right now, Falcon 9 first stages, they land on the ocean. But you want to land them on land, and that's where hopefully they'll eventually start landing. Or a floating launch pad. Um, you can see the continent there on the right, that's where I'm going in for my landing. Um, real ones would land near Cape Canaveral, but I've explained it's hard to actually do that in this. It looks like I'm running very low on fuel and not going to make it, but as I go into the thinner atmosphere and start moving faster and my Apple apps raises, um, I'll be able to... Uh, I'll, I'll move across much quicker as you can see now. I've set the resources to stage only so that I can see how much fuel I have left in the stage. Um, and we're coming kind of low on fuel now, but it looks like we've got a pretty damn good trajectory and a decent amount of fuel left. So hopefully that'll put me down on land. Um, now the thing to do is detach this. Um, usually in real life that would just carry on into orbit straight up, um, but I have to control every bit, you know, at the same time. That's another thing. I have to get this into orbit before I can start controlling the main stage. So that's something uh, f a real Falcon 9 doesn't have to deal with because they can fly them separately, obviously, so they have more time to maneuver. But anyway, I'm just going to put this into the right position, um, facing uh, with its engines first into the atmosphere, because that's how this deorbits, because those engines are very heat durable as they, you know, have um, kerosene and oxidizer forced through them constantly. Um, I think it's kerosene and liquid oxygen? I'm not entirely sure. Um, it's much denser than the space shuttle and the space launch system use. They use uh, liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen. Very, very undense. And anyway, I'm using the reaction control thrusters, which are very powerful on the um, Falcon 9 first stage to put it perfectly in position. Um, that's what keeps it stable through um, re-entry, because uh, that's just kind of... you because it's very easy to flip out on re-entry. If you're going at high mark values, a slight a very slight in, um, imperfection in the um, coating of the first stage will just cause you to flip out. Anyway, I'm making a small burn to um, escape from the uh, first stage, but this being Kerbal Space Program, I'm going to wait a while before I... Oh no, I do my full burn right now. Alright, yeah, you, but um, in, uh, real, in the real world you want to be... Uh, you have to do much more kind of constant burning. See, I throttle down now because I need to get to Apple Apps first. In the real world you don't do that, you keep burning because you don't have that kind of time because you have to be going about eight kilometers a second to stay on orbit as opposed to two. Um, so yeah, that's something. Uh, this stage has a lot of fuel left over at the end, much more than it does in real life, um, because that, well, first off, this is Kerbin, so it's very small, and that payload is not as heavy as the real payload. Um, usually, uh, the real one would take about 13 tons to orbit. So this isn't a bit brilliant model, but it is, uh, it is a very, it's a very nice mod, actually. Um, I do like it. It's made by Laztec. I'll I'll link that in the description. If it's not there, someone yell at me in the comments. I've been forgetting to do that. People yell at me in the comments. That's fine. Then I'll put it in. Um, and if I haven't, then check out the Falcon 9 video. It is in the link there. Or just Google it, because it's really easy to Google stuff. Although, actually, in fairness, this one is hard to find. 
Um, not hard to find, but it's a bit, it's kind of difficult. So I will try, I'll try to remember to link it. But yeah, if, you, if I don't link something, just try Googling it. It's a really good site that I found. Um, anyway, we are making our orbit. I'll stop insulting you. Um, and that's a relatively good orbit. Yeah, that's out of the atmosphere. Perfect. Um, Semi-perfect. Anyway, switch back to the uh, main stage. And here we are. Um, coming down quite fast. I skipped through some of the boring stuff, I think. I don't fully remember editing this. Um... Um, but yeah, uh, so this is looking pretty good. My trajectory is pretty much bang on the continent. That's good. Um, I'm trying to keep perfect to my um, retrograde marker so that I uh, um, don't uh, that I uh, don't kind of flip out. Although this, I don't have fair amount of aerospace installed, which I probably should, um, because that would make this more realistic. Or deadly reentry. That's another thing. Um, I will talk about some of the reentering of this in a while. This just reenters quite. Well, I mean, it won't be going as, so fast in real life. Well, it'll be going much faster than this, but compared to normal re-entry speeds, you know, not that bad. And we're coming back quite hard. I start frantically trying to switch off these engines, forgot it, forgetting the action groups, but I remember them before I hit the ground, because we are about to hit the ground. Um, I was like, hmm, I wonder if there are action groups. Press some random buttons, and there are. Um, that's the three engines ignited. That's actually wrong. I've got one off-center, so this wouldn't land. Well, I could probably land it. I'm... Uh, Pretty good. No, I'm not actually good enough to land with a completely off-center mass. Although a Falcon 9 can get to orbit if it loses an engine. So I think Falcon 9s land on three engines. There was talks of them landing on one engines. Uh, one engines? One engine. But I think um, there's more responsiveness in three engines. You don't land on nine engines because there's too much responsiveness. That's uh, often a problem. Um, but yeah, just kind of being conservative of fuel. But I have quite a lot left because that upper stage is very capable. Um, and I'm going to deploy those landing legs in a minute. There you go. They're very nice. Obviously very aerodynamic, so they don't, you know, rip off. Um, but yeah, we're, I'm using Shadow to land. Obviously they'll use much better methods in a, the real Falcon 9 first stage. But, um, yeah, it's a very tall payload to land, a very tall thing to land. So you actually want flat ground. This is a hill, but, um, luckily I'm better than SpaceX. No, I'm, uh, just, you know, luckily that I'm in a game. Anyway, we want to be very slow touching the ground. I do touch down a little too fast, but it is fine. It doesn't tip over those very nice landing legs. And that is safely down. That is rather nice. And we can recover that and get all our money back and just refuel it. Anyway, back in orbit. Um, we'll just detach that main stage. And something I forgot to mention in the um, Dragon version 2 episode is that that little thing on the top, you can't see it now, but you'll see it in a minute. There's a secondary payload system, so you can attach a different, another payload to that, uh, to the Falcon 9. And once you've deployed your main one, that little gold thing on top detaches, as you see there. Um, and it has an engine, so you can deploy it to another orbit. Um, I think that's very cool, and I might start putting that in my actual rockets. Yeah, I just thought I'd leave that engine in, because it's very nice. Not reusable, um, so complete failure, Falcon 9. Jeez, read a book. Nah, it's uh, pretty good. Um, but anyway, it's time to deorbit. I cut through all the boring stuff. I cut through most of the irrelevant stuff, because... Why bother? I put my um, periaps much uh, further past the continent than it actually needs to be, because it's easier to slow down than to speed up. Um, that is something very important. Anyway, I'll uh, cut through that until we're in the atmosphere, um, and just leave this in. You enter, when you re-enter with, uh, with the top stage, you point it this way, because then you can put a heat shield over it, as you can see here, as it starts to burn up. Um, having a heat shield there would be very important, because then you don't lose the landing legs or the engine, because coming back at orbital velocity is quite deadly. Um, hence the deadly re-entry mod. But yeah, I cut through the boring warping through the upper atmosphere, because you don't really want to see that. And if you did, then I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I've got a pretty good trajectory. It looks like I'm not going to come down right near the space center, but um, pretty close. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah, so that'll bear all the heat and hopefully not burn up. Obviously not in the game, because I don't have deadly re-entry installed, because um, this is my kind of stock-ish save, um, apart from this mod. Um, but yeah, you can see the landing legs tucked down by the engine, so uh, eventually it will flip round, probably using reaction control thrusters in real life, but not in this, um, because it has incredibly powerful torque. Very unrealistic, um, because, well, you don't have that much torque in a real spacecraft. Um, yeah, so uh, after the burning up, after it's safely below, you know, heavy mark values, you'll flip it round, as you'll see now. Um, and move the engine first, and you want to start slowing down. This is actually way too fast to flip it around. I'm going above Mach 1. That'll probably just tear apart. But I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure of the aerodynamic characteristics of rockets. 
Um, but you can fly them. You don't need wings to fly because lifting bodies. Yeah. Oh, and my monitor has gone off. So you'll probably be seeing the engine burn right now. Yeah, there we go. And the resolution has dropped for some reason. Anyway, I can still see everything. Um, that was terrible commentating of me. Anyway, yeah, you want to be slowing down fairly early. I have unbelievable amounts of fuel. I wouldn't have this much fuel, obviously, in landing. Um, so it is much heavier than it should be. Usually you'd have just enough fuel to slow down and land. Um, obviously deorbit as well. Um, but that's technically slowing down, so... Uh, yeah, so I, I, I make... Well, I'm still actually coming down really fast, but i just trying to regulate my speed. Deploy the landing legs, they're quite nice. Um, they haven't... They don't actually land the main stage... The second stages yet. That's something I'll have to tackle to get full reusability. That's what you want. Because then if you, you reuse just the first stage, that's 70% off the cost of rockets, which is amazing, but it's... It's not perfect. Um, so you do want to reuse all of it, or as much as is humanly possible within the realms of physics. So I've slowed down to below 10 meters a second now, because um, and sped up above it there. But yeah, um, I just kind of eyeball this. Obviously it would be done far more scientifically in the real world. And just a quick jump before touchdown, because I, I'm on a slope, I don't want to fall over, that would be very embarrassing. And touchdown quite hard, but those landing legs have a lot of suspension, so it's nice. Someone can come and grab this, and uh, just um, bring it back to the KSC, refuel it and stuff. Anyway, back in orbit with the dragon. Um, we've got to bring back the dragon, because part of the Dragon Mark II capsule is that it can um, land propulsively on land and be reused. Part of landing on land means you don't have to clear all the water out of it. Saw users land on land, but they use solid rocket motors, um, and they're not reusable. Um, and the solid rocket motors um, what uh, what slow it down. I just thought I'd take a quick look at the UI inside, because it is very nice. Um, but yeah, a saw user isn't, reusab uh, isn't reusable. reusable. I suppose there's a chance they could... Uh, well, the service module, uh, which is the like propulsion and life support, and the habitation module, the little thing on top, that all burns up. Um, but this is all contained within the Dragon Mark II capsule, as you can see coming back right now. I didn't make this perfectly, so I'm coming down on the wrong side of the mountains. So I fire my engines now. This would be a test burn in real life, but I'm actually just trying to avoid those mountains. Although it would have been cool to land on top of one, but um, not very scientific. Um, yeah, so all of this is self-contained, and it can come back and land. It doesn't land on parachutes. It can if something goes wrong with the engines, but it uses those uh, four sets of two engines. It can lose two engines and still land fine. Um, that's a safety measure, so you can lose two engines. You can lose all the engines, land fine on parachutes, um, but, you know, you'd hopefully not. So if it does a test burn high up in the atmosphere, if that doesn't work, if the engines aren't working for any reason, they'll deploy the parachute. Um, but yeah, so this can land with the precision of a helicopter, obviously not while being flown by me, um, but in real life it can land with the precision of a helicopter, it soft lands perfectly, and it is fully and rapidly reusable, I believe. Um, uh, some people, uh, I guess, have pointed out that you could make a reusable rocket with parachutes, or, well, reusable um, pod with parachutes, but I think it's... I don't know, I think I think, well, I think think SpaceX know what they're doing, so I think propulsive landing is... I think it, propulsive landing is just how um, things should land these days, because, you know, awesome technology. Why have, like, parachute landing spacecraft? But anyway, as you can see, these uh, very responsive thrusters, it's very nice to land, and it, it lo leaves these awesome smoke trails. Um, and I'm a little above the ground now, so we just want to slow down. Uh, well, I'm actually speeding up now, just to speed this along. And I think you saw the landing legs deploy. They're just quite stubby in, in the heat shield. Um, hopefully they won't burn up on re-entry. That'd be really bad. And you just want to kind of put it just... you Again, you want to zero your velocity as you touch the ground. Um, but anyway, as we do touch down safely and have fully and rapidly reused this rock... Well, I haven't actually reused it yet, but I could reuse it. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this has been insightful. Uh, this has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.